What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today what I got for you guys is a follow-up video talking a little bit more about the Season 2 update. We got some new information on what to expect with the brand new Reloaded update and there's just so much to talk about so let's just go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing is they're going to be doing a large patch note update. So what this means is it's going to be one of those bigger updates that you download. There's going to be a lot of changes in terms of weapon tuning, bug fixes, audio fixes, things like that. So it's not just, don't just expect brand new content with this reloaded update like we did last time, but expect a lot of different changes in terms of nerfing weapons, in terms of fixing things, removing things, adjusting things that need to be adjusted in the game. So they did announce a couple of these changes already. So the first one is gonna be the KV broadside is gonna be getting some well-deserved nerfs. So it says right here, in the season two reloaded update, it will include several global weapon balances, including damage reduction to the KV broadside and the dragon dragon breath surround so if you've been using that combo you already know how overpowered that is it's easily as of right now the best close range metal weapon and it just seeing it in warzone if i see a guy in the building using this thing i'm just running away because i automatically know i don't stand a chance against this so i'm really glad that they recognize that this weapon needs a nerf asap and they're actually going to be doing that so that's some good news right there i don't know if they're going to be nerfing other weapons such as the hemlock because we do know the hemlock is pretty busted right now it's probably the best ar in the game i don't know if it's a top priority like it is with the KV broadside so there might be some nerfs to it there might not be I don't know but they did say there's going to be many many other weapons that are going to be getting adjusted so some weapons are going to get nerfed some weapons will be buffed obviously got you guys with the patch notes as soon as they do drop but they ended up posting yet another patch note and this one came from Raven they said with the season 2 reloaded update the bomb drone will be disabled in warzone 2 battle royale while we explore additional balance options for this kill streak and then they announced that there will be even more changes on the 15th so yeah, it's a very overpowered kill streak. I'm not sure why it's just that broken, but I've definitely seen a lot of people requesting that they permanently just remove it from Ashika Island. It just doesn't make sense having something like that where if you're in a building, it'll just come in, fly in. You can't really run away from it, so you can't get away. Once it sees you, it's just going to chase you until you die. So I personally think these are some W changes. There's obviously going to be a lot more that's going to be happening, but these are the ones that they have announced so far right now. So we will have to wait until we get more information. They might post even more tomorrow. So if they do, I got you guys covered with that video. If you are not subscribed, make sure you sub so you stay up to date on all Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 news. But anyways, let's jump into the next topic that we have, and that is going to be the Triple X event so we talked about this a couple days ago we mentioned that it was going to be going live over on their trello board they had posted on the 9th playstation is going to be getting double xp and they start there and then on the 10th everyone else was going to be getting this triple xp event where you get double xp double weapons xp and double battle pass xp but the day came and we didn't get it. They ended up posting on Twitter that they ended up making an error on the date and it wasn't meant to be released this weekend, but it's actually going to be releasing next weekend. So the brand new dates are as follows. So PlayStation is going to be getting it starting on the 16th. Everyone else is going to be getting it on the 17th going up until Monday. So I guess they decided to go ahead, delay it a week, wait until the reloaded update drops. So that way when more people are on the game, they'll give them an opportunity to get this XP going. But anyways, that's it for that topic. Now let's talk about the brand new map called Him Mat. We got a brand new trailer for it, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll this clip for you guys while we talk about it. So the first thing is this map, you automatically can tell it's a pretty large map. So it is meant for 6v6, but it seems like it could comfortably fit a 10v10 in this, like in the mosh pit that they got going on right now. It's just a pretty large map. I could compare it probably in size to around Valderas Museum. And just watching this trailer, I do get some similarities between Valderas Museum and this one. So it just seems like some areas are replicated. They look very, very similar. But if you do like Valderas Museum, I definitely think you will love this map. But it's a larger map. It looks good. I really like the vibe of it, the way that they have it toned out and set. But what are your thoughts and opinions on this? I personally think being a brand new map, the first First original map that we're going to be getting in Modern Warfare 2. I definitely think that this is a good one and it's nothing like that border map. So the, speaking of the border map, I noticed that it seems like they've done a secret update where they have ended up removing it from the game. I'm not sure if I'm the only one who has not seen this map at all since the season two update, but it seems like they ended up removing it. I'm not sure if there's like a legal issue regarding that or if they just know that people did not like that map. Because I remember I would be sitting in a queue for like 10, 15 minutes. Every single time people load into the lobby and they see that it's this 
map before it starts, they'll just back out and then it'll restart the timer. And then, yeah, so it seems like maybe this was like a big ongoing issue for a lot of people. No one liked this map. So they just ended up removing it from the pool. So maybe this will be the better replacement for that map. But anyways, that's the map right there. Let's talk about some other things. So there is a brand new free operator that you are going to get, and that is going to be Captain Price. So I know a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people commenting and talking about it where it's like, where's the OG Captain Price skin? Where's the OG Ghost skin? We, we saw these in like the pack, but like, where are these other operators? And it seems like they are finally adding them now with the season two reloaded update. So you can actually get Captain Price for free. This is the skin right here that is going to be available. So in order to get this operator, all you have to do is play the episode two raid mission. So the only requirement that I know of as of right now is you'll only need two other friends in order to be able to start it because it's a three man mission type of thing. But I don't think you need to play episode one first. And I don't think you need to complete any sort of challenge. They did not mention any challenges, sort of like how it was where you would need an access card. They said this time around, you're not going to need an access card. You'll be able to get into it for free. But by completing the mission and getting it done, you'll be able to get yourself the OG Captain Price skin. That's the free way. If you don't want to do that, you can also purchase it in the bundle, which will be available after the reloaded update. Now, along with this bundle, the OG Ghost skin is also going to be coming in as well. So pretty much the Modern Warfare 2 logo, the face that you see, that operator is finally going to be coming into the game. So unfortunately, the only way to get him is you'll have to purchase him through the store bundle. So as of right now, most likely with the pace that they are going in raid episode three, we're going to be seeing probably Farah being added and we're going to be seeing her because we did see Gaz in episode one. Now we're seeing Captain Price in two and then it seems like Farah will probably be episode three. And then after episode three going forward, I'm assuming that they're probably going to end up changing the main character. So we're probably going to be seeing Ghost, maybe Soap, maybe other characters of Task Force 141 being added into the game finally. Because as of right now, Raids is an extension of the campaign and going through, obviously, we want to see the main story of the main 141 members. And we haven't seen Soap, we haven't seen Ghost in any of these, so... We hopefully will be getting them in future seasons. I heard also in raid missions, they're going to start getting a little bit crazier where we're going to start seeing raid final bosses, villains, and things like that, that will pretty much tie in the story. So all the loose ends and things like that, those are going to get tied in. So there's definitely a lot going on right here. Definitely expect some skins along the way, a lot of different rewards, blueprints, things like that, that are going to be going along with it. But expect another brand new video from me. I will try to be double uploading today. There's something even more bigger that, I mean, we're talking like the trailer ended up getting leaked early so i'm going to be showing you guys the season two reloaded trailer we're also going to be covering that and talking about it so definitely make sure you guys are subscribed if you are not subscribed let me know what other videos you guys want to see i'll be talking a little bit more about the upcoming events as well because we got quite a few different events that are going to be happening there's different rewards for each event and they're just it just causes a lot of confusion so i'm going to be covering all those so that way you guys are fully understanding of what's going to be going on when the reloaded update drops because some of these rewards are going to be there for only a limited time and i don't want you guys to miss out on them because you just weren't informed about them so i will do my best to cover everything for you guys in full detail but as soon as you get more news and more things like that you guys already know i'll cover you guys so don't forget to subscribe and all that but it's been your boy Trudeau. thank you guys for tuning in hopefully i'll be seeing you guys on the channel again peace